welcome back everyone uh, this video is a bit of an introduction to the uh, the blade uh, which is basically the big daddy to the sub uh, I got one of these the other day and I just want to tell you a little bit about it I don't really know much about it because I only got it yesterday so uh, but I can tell you what I know and I can you know take the camera over there show you certain bits and what does what so as I say the blade is like the big daddy to the sub. It's more of the commercial machine. Uh, it takes eight litre kegs. Uh, where do I start? Where do I start? Uh, it takes eight litre kegs, draft beer. Uh, generally, the beer is all the proper brewed stuff uh, in the country of origin, if you like. So the Heineken is the proper Dutch stuff at 5%. Uh, Bira Moretti is the proper Italian stuff and, and so on. Uh, at the moment, uh, the machine is, there's lots of different offers on. Uh, it's generally about 500 quid, I think, just for the machine, but they are doing offers at the moment uh, where you can get four kegs with it, uh, 24 glasses for about 480 quid. Or there's other ones that uh, two kegs, which was the one I got with six glasses, which actually comes in at about 425, something like that. Uh, so yeah, so it's not it's it's not cheap. It's a lot more expensive than the sub, and it's a lot more expensive than the perfect draft. Uh, but I will say, the day that I've had it. The quality of the machine, the, the quality of the build is second to none. It's uh, the normal Heineken sub was very good, but I also had uh, the compact one, which was a bit plasticky and a bit didn't have that quality feel about it. Uh, the Perfect Drafts, a quality machine as well, well built and everything, well made. But the blade really does sort of like knock that into the park in terms of quality of build and sturdiness and how how strong it feels. Uh, so it, it you know it's well it's well worth the money in that. Uh, so like I've said, I've gone over the price. I've gone over the build quality. Currently in the UK, the kegs you can get for it are only Tiger, Bira Moretti. Afflegem, which is a Belgian blonde, Heineken and Heineken 0% one. Uh, but there is a website I've found, there's a couple of websites that you can get about, works out you can get about 12 kegs in total and you're getting stuff from Austria and places like that. Uh, so that does expand the range a little bit but still nowhere near the perfect draft but it does give you a bit more choice. So. Uh, Hopefully, the way the machine is selling at the moment, it will it will get bigger over here, and hopefully, you know, they're realising it's not just a commercial thing. People are buying this uh, buying this for their own and their pub shed. So, hopefully, the range will get bigger soon. Uh, the prices of the kegs, unlike the perfect draft, you do not get a five pound keg deposit once you've finished with the beer in the in the kegs. They're they're bin jobs. Uh, the ones over here. At the moment, Heineken 0% is £19, I think, for 8 litres. Uh, Tiger is about £31, I think, £31 for 8 litres. Bira Moretti is about the same, £31, I think. And the normal Heineken is £29 for 8 litres. So it's, it's not extortionate, it's pretty decent value, I think. If you're ordering from abroad, uh, what you've got to take into account is is the postage uh, certainly the one place there is one one in the UK but they're all out of stock at the moment and this other place I've seen online their kegs range from about 28 euros to 32 euros but there's going to be 10 euros postage cost on each keg pretty much it works out as so so you're looking I think by the time you translate it it works out about 38 pound a keg with your postage, which isn't too bad, I don't think, to be honest, to get some different beers and that. Uh, 
So, but like I say, hopefully there's going to be more range coming into the UK uh, for all us other other users. Uh, so that's pretty much told you the price of the machine, the build quality of the machine. It's told you about the range of beers and the prices of beers. Uh, so what I'm going to do now, this is going to be a bit tricky. I don't have one of these fancy cameras that can do everything. What, so what I'm going to do is basically pick the phone up and we'll go over there and I'll, I'll try and get in there and make some pointers out to everyone. So here we are. There's the blade there. Uh, checking that right, there we go. It's a beast of a machine, as you can see, it's a lot bigger than the, the perfect draft. Uh, it comes with a huge stainless steel drip tray, which is real quality. That slots underneath, and it has quite a decent fit, so it doesn't just slide out everywhere. As you can see, the body is stainless steel. Uh, a, a real good quality tap on there that's solid. Uh, you have the dome there. That's a plastic dome that just goes over it, but even that you can tell that the quality of that is, is good, really solid sort of stuff. Uh, there's all your, you know, trying to get things, there's all your dials and your buttons and everything, uh, which I'll go through now quickly. This one is how much is in the keg, it's like a bloody fuel gauge in it. So, as you can see, that's extremely low. So. This keg is running out. This dial below here, there we go, that's your temperature gauge. So as long as it's down there, you're doing all right and the beer's good to go. Now, I can't see properly here. Let me try and get in there. Da, 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 da. There we go. I'll get in there. That locks your keg into place. Once that's locked into place, that needs to stay like that until the keg's empty. So I think apparently it can knacker your keg up if you if you unlock it. So uh, wise to always try and avoid that if you can, I suppose. And this switch up here is the light for the dome. So as you see there, no light on. Turn that switch and it all lights up. So an extremely cool looking thing for me, I think. Good sturdy tap, like I said. You can actually get custom made ones uh, to match the beer. They're not cheap, I think they work out about 50 quid, something like that, so they're not cheap. Although I do like any gadgety stuff, so I may well treat myself one day to one. Uh, and that's, that's basically the look of the machine. So what I'll do is we'll come back over here. So that's what the machine looks like and everything. Uh, when I first got it, I did read the instructions but they are a little bit vague because the blade is basically like a fridge it says that you need to leave it stand the actual machine for eight hours but a lot of people say you can get away with about two hours because it's got gases and everything inside and it needs to be able to settle uh, once it's done that you can plug it in and turn it on uh, loading a keg is very simple very similar to the sub to be honest uh, it does recommend chilling your kegs for 24 hours before they go in. Uh, my Heineken keg had been in for about four days in the fridge, just sitting there waiting for the machine. And by the time I turned I turned the machine on, put it on, well, I put the put the keg in, turned the machine on, and everything. Within about 15 minutes, half hour, it was all ready to go. So uh, didn't have to wait too long, which is good. Uh, and really that's about it that's all I can tell you really uh, they're the like I said I've only had it day so my experiences from the machine are limited but my initial experience with it is it is a quality piece of kit that is well built uh, the Heineken is really nice on it I've had the sub I've had Bira Moretti I've had Tiger and all that and they're really good on the blade on the sub so I'm expecting the same if not you know to be honest I can't see them being any better, but I expect them to be as good. So that's about it, really. So if you are tempted by getting a blade, uh, yes, it's expensive. Uh, is it worth the money? If you get enjoyment out of it, it's worth the money, uh, but you're certainly getting a decent bit of kit for it. And that's about it, really, for now. So I'll leave that with everyone out there, and you can just 
take on board what I say and hopefully if it gives you any point as to whether to buy one or not to buy one uh, it's done the job so thanks for watching everyone and uh, I'll see you again soon on a beer review next time so cheers <laughs>